Outlook is a powerful tool for managing your email, contacts, calendars, and tasks. But to use it most effectively, you first have to understand the basics. So I'm going to go over some of those basics with you here today. The first thing you'll need to do is make sure your account is added if it is not already. Click on Tools and then Accounts and you're going to want to add an Exchange account. Type in your email address at ccaeagles.org we're going to use our username and password to authenticate. So once again, you'll add just your username, the same password that you use to log into the network, and click on Add Account. I like to go ahead and customize this a little bit by capitalizing the CCA and separating CCA and Eagles so that it will show that way on my mail accounts. Once you've verified that that information is correct, go ahead and click on the X for that dialog box and you'll notice that your email starts populating here and in my case my email folders that I had created already are all listed here on the left hand side. We'll talk about that in just a minute. But before you begin to use the email account that you set up you should familiar your, familiarize yourself with some of the user interface elements. So the first one I want you to, sh to show you is the search box. This is an excellent place to search for anything so I can go ahead and type in um, anyone's name here and it will bring up all the emails that I have recently sent. I could go ahead and type a subject in an email of an email that I know that I sent and I can't find like for instance um, my team meeting emails and you'll notice that any email that has recently been sent that says um, has team email team meeting in it will be populated here on the side. So the search bar is a great tool for um, locating things that you have sent or received. Uh, the next thing you'll want to notice is the ribbon. The ribbon here is uh, similar to what you'll find in other Microsoft applications, but for Outlook you'll have the Home tab, which is where you'll stay most for composing new emails and replying and so on and so forth. Uh, then you also have an Organize tab, a Tools tab, and a Search tab. The Reading pane is this area here where you can choose to um, to see the email on the right hand side with the list of emails on the left when you click on an email it will have it populate on the right hand side and um, you can also adjust here by dragging your columns to be wider or smaller and allowing you to have a different views there that's called the navigation pane if you do click on view up here there are some different options for how you would view and um, you can choose to view with um, without the folders on the side there. You can choose to view with or without the ribbon and you have some choices also under view of your reading pane options. If you want the reading pane to be to the right, below, or even hidden. I like to have mine to the right hand side. That's what I'm most used to. To send a new email you can either click on this email button here or use the shortcut, which I prefer, my favorite one, is Command N. If you press Command N, a new pane will pop up for typing a new email address. And if you would like to, you can go ahead and enter the name of the person that you're wanting to send it to, and um, the directory options are going to pre-populate there for you. Anything that's in your address book is going to populate there for you. Now, if you'd like to add a contact that is not in the address book, um, you can go on here down to contacts and you can go ahead and um, create a new contact up here by adding their first and last name and their email address here and clicking save and close. That will then add them into your contacts and they, their address will auto populate when you begin to type their name. So let's go ahead and click back on our mail tab and uh, do a command N for a new screen and pretend that we're going to type a email address here. You're going to go ahead and type the person's name in and when you press enter it will populate and change to blue. You can add a CC line here and a BCC if you would like to blind copy someone. Make sure you're always um, typing in a subject and then you can begin to compose your email. If you would like to attach a document you're going to simply click on the attach button here and then it's going to bring up your file screen, your file menu on your um, screen and you'll have some choices here on the left hand side 
most likely you've saved documents right onto your Mac, which would be um, your little home button here, and those would be saved under your name and in documents, or the shortcut to that is to click right here in documents. And all you have to do to add something is to double click, and it will add a, and attach that right to um, your email. So you would go ahead and um, compose the email that you want to send, And when you're finished, click on the Send button. If you're deciding that that's not an email you want to send, you can press the red tab, and that will allow you to do two things. You can save it for later as a draft. You can continue writing and finish it right now, or you could discard the changes. Let's take a moment to explore the inbox and other folders listed here on the left hand side of the navigation pane. You notice that I have many folders to categorize my emails and save them in. And if you would like to add folders, you just simply need to click on new. And you can choose to have a new folder here, or you could click on the CCA Eagles tab and tap with two fingers, and it would also give you the option to add a new folder there. It'll put it at the bottom of your list until you title the folder, in which case it will then alphabetize it with your others. And then if you'd like to put a subfolder underneath that folder, again it would be a two finger click, a right click, and you could add a new folder that is then underneath. And you'll notice this little um, tab has expanded and you can click to hide or unclick to show the folders that are subfolders underneath um, the folders listed here. And this is a great way to sort your email and to save emails that are important to you for later. I'm going to show you quickly how to add a signature to all of your emails. You'll choose Outlook and then Preferences at the top and click right here in the middle on Signatures. And you're going to go ahead and compose your signature. Now you can compose it right here if you'd like or you can um, copy and paste it in from Microsoft Word so that you can add some nice fonts and changes to it. You want to make sure that your signature includes your name, uh, your title, and the classroom and or office that you work in along with your phone extension. And that will allow um, parents, teachers, other staff to know where you're at and how to contact you in alternate methods with every email that you have. And then the last thing you need to do with signatures is click on default signatures and make sure that under the CCA Eagles account you've changed it to standard which is the one where you've just added your signature to and say OK. Otherwise it will not use this standard signature on your CCA account um, automatically unless you have clicked on default. So that takes care of that and now you'll see that when I uh, click on email to create a new email my signature is already populated there without having to think about it and I like to put mine down a line or two so that my last line can be sincerely and uh, with a comma and the space is already listed there. Helps if you spell it right too. Alright. The next thing I want to show you is your calendar. If you click on the tab to the left here calendar, you'll notice that anything that you, um, any appointments that you have accepted through our Microsoft Exchange, uh, when someone sends you an appointment, are all going to appear here on your calendar. You have several ways to view that. You can click on the daily view, the work week view, which is Monday through Friday, the full week, which includes Sunday and Saturday, and or you can look at a month view, and that will show all the appointments that are added for your month. If you would like to send an appointment to someone, you're simply going to click on appointment here and you're going to put your subject and or location and the start and end date and time and then a note here and you will, um, you will then um, invite people to that appointment by clicking on the invite and send it to them. Um, once that is completed, then they can choose to accept, decline, um, or delete your appointment at that time. We'll go back to mail now and I want to show you um, that there's a little flag area here on the side of every email. If you click on that little flag option, it will turn it red and that gives you some follow-up options. If you press and hold on that item, um, it will 
then change it to checked off. So you can turn your email box into a to-do list um, again by clicking the star or the, the flag dropping down and saying I want to complete that today, tomorrow, this week, next, next week um, or add a custom due date there and then once the task has been completed you can check it off or delete it. Um, that's really cool and then the other option to show you here is under tasks and um, this is a great way for you to add tasks that you want to complete and you can choose to have reminders pop up with them and um, then those will pop up on your computer to show you um, when that task needs to be completed. So that's about it for uh, the basics of Microsoft Outlook. Um, be sure to print off the document that I've attached to this mission if you would like to have an actual document to look through. And as always, I'm here to help if you have any additional questions. Have a great day.